Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Pandora Gilboa High School, where tonight the homestanding Rockets welcome in the Columbus Grove Bulldogs. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Dar Nevergo and our entire WSN crew. And, Dar, let's take a look first. The visitors from Columbus Grove. They come in losing five in a row. Their last win was January 13th. And right now, it's it's a, it's an opportunity to, to, to make some wrongs right, but they got to score the basket. They're really having trouble. Oh, they absolutely have to score the basket. This is a very tough team, uh, Pandora, Gilbo, and Rockets to score against. So, you know, they're going to have to really play a good half court offense. You know, they got to finish at both ends. That's one of the keys that they got to come up with is they got to be able to finish at both ends. They can't, you know, and then, and then they got to do the little things to get the Rockets. Every opportunity you get, you've got to win that 50 50 play. You've got to be able to get out there, scramble for the ball, do whatever you got to do. Do not give these guys an opportunity to score because they'll they'll rack it up real quick on you. And we take a look at Pandora Gilbo, the home team. Boy, 13 and 3, 6 and 1 in the BBC. But Dar, they can really fill it up. They average 60 a game, but defensively, they hold you under 40 a game. They're 4 and 2 in their last six games, but they started the year out nine out of their first 10 were wins. This is a really good team. Yeah, they had a tough loss against Arlington just last Friday night, you know, in the BBC. That was their first loss in the BBC. So yeah, you know, this is a team, too, that, you know, they're going to be tested by this Columbus Grove team on the inside. You know, this is a fairly good-sized Columbus Grove team, so you're going to be tested on the inside, so you got to know where everybody's at all the time in there. You know, communicate on screens because that's the biggest thing, you know, even offensively and defensively. you got to know where you're going to go sure. with the ball. And a lot of stay sound defensively, and, they, and this team can. I mean, you know, there's no doubt about it. If Grove can hold down Aiden Harris, eh, you know, they'll have a pretty decent game, you know. But if they let Aiden Harris go because he had 25 against Bluffton, they're going to be hurting, you know. Absolutely. Let's take a look at our starting lineups for tonight's game. For the visitors, the Columbus Grove Bulldogs come in at 5-9, and 3-2 and two in the Northwest Conference. They average 46.6 a game. Defensively, they give up 54 a game. And they'll start number two, Zach Reynolds, a 6'1 junior at 6.1 a game. Number three, Trenton Barraza, a 6'1 sophomore at 10.4 a game. He's their leading scorer. Number 13 is Landon Best, a 5'10 freshman, and he averages 4.9 a game. Number 21, Kyle Hopkins is a 6'0 sophomore at 7.8 a game. And rounding out the starting five, number 24, Tad Koch, is a 6'3 senior at 7.6 a game, and we saw him in the football field, and if he's as physical on the field as he is in the court, <laughs> they're in for a rough night in Pandora. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. and, and that's what I expect to see tonight, a lot of banging around, There's a lot of physical. This is Putnam County League basketball, yo, and they, they don't hesitate to knock each other around a little bit. Both teams 2-2 two and two in the PCL, so, you know, there's still some opportunity there, but, you know, it's going to be a big night for both of them. Let's take a look at the homestanding Rockets. Their starting lineup, they'll go with number one, Colin Harris, a 6'1 junior, averages 9.7 a game. Number two, Derek Mag is a 6-foot senior at 6.9 a game. Number three, Aiden Harris is a 6'2 junior, and he leads the way with 17.9 a game. Number 10, Aiden Morris is a 6-foot sophomore at 4.8 a game. And number 40, Jack Mag is a 6'2 senior at 4.8 a game. The Rockets are coached by Mike Lee. Dar, let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams to win this game tonight. Well, the biggest thing, like, like I said, for for uh, Pandora Gilbo is, you know, they got to play their inside game, and they got to be able to uh, stand up against these Columbus Grove guys, bang around a little bit. Because if you look out there at that Grove lineup, there's the big stock. Yes, they are. So you got to be able to bang around inside there. You know, you know, play your sound defensive game that you play, and these guys can really get up and down on it. And for Grove, you know, like I said, they're having trouble scoring. They got to finish, you know, and they've got to get second opportunities too. You know, they're a good rebounding team. They average about 30, 30 rebounds a game, so they're a good rebounding team. But they got to be able to finish it off on both ends of the court. You know, and like I said, you, know, you got to do those little things in a game like this: is get physical, you know, dive for you know loose balls, do whatever it takes to get your opportunities because you do not want to give Pandora Gilbo the ball that many times to score. It's going to be a good one. It's Pandora Gilboa. It's Columbus Grove. It's WOSN. We come back. We'll have the tip right here on OSN. And welcome back to Pandora Gilboa High School. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets! Sprunger Insurance is our scoreboard sponsor. So a good crowd tonight, Dar, for a Tuesday night. I, I, we talked off air a little bit. Up in the corner is Coach's Corner. There's about seven different high school coaches up there scouting tonight. So a good opportunity to see what's going on in the rest of the league, huh? I, I want to watch them pass their uh, clipboards around <laughs> each other. <laughs> 
What are you looking at? <laughs> uh, Pandora comes in. I said, I, you know, you look around the, in the Northwest Ohio, and the difference with Pandora Gilboa in their offensive numbers and defensive numbers is kind of staggering. When you can put up 60 and 9 and hold your opponents under 40, that's a recipe for success, and they're showing it. Oh, yeah. Get, you know, and, and if you watch this Pandora team, they can play a little bit of an up tempo game, but they're also very good in, this, in their half court sets as well. You know, very well coached team. I mean, Mike Lee been around for a long time, and not so much as Pandora as other schools as well coming into this one here. So you can see the fundamental play of this Pandora Gilbo team. And they like to drive to the basket, they like to get their free throws. You know, they're very good at free, at free throw shooting. You know, and this is a club stroke team. This, like we said, they've lost five in a row coming into this game. Not by big margin, but sure. they've lost five in a row. But they're a team that doesn't go real deep. and. We'll see how that plays out with this Rocket team because they really get up and down the court. Talk a little bit about Aiden Harris, the 6'2 junior. I know you've seen him several times this year. Well, Aiden is the uh, second leading scorer in the BBC at 17.9, but he's also a good free throw shooter. But the thing about Aiden is, is he'll go to the basket, and he's not afraid to go up against anybody on, on the inside, and he'll just drive for the basket and get those fouls and get that easy basket. So Pandora Gilbo controls the tip. This is the aforementioned Aiden Harris drives. Nice lifty layup, and Aiden Harris knocks it in. It gives the Rockets a 2-0 lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And you'll see a lot of that tonight, and they're going to have to figure out a way to stop him from doing he's that. He's got length, too, doesn't oh, he, Dar? Does. He's a skinny kid, but, boy, he's got length. he got those long arms, really quick defensively. There, Barraza drove it in, tried to get the ball down to Tad Koch, and he misses the shot. It's deflected. Come back to the Rockets. This is Colin Harris. He'll swing it out to Aiden Morris, the sophomore, back in. They'll go back to Aiden Harris again with the ball out top. They'll swing it around, trying to push it down on the perimeter. This is Harris again. The 6'2 junior's got the first two points of the game. They'll swing it back to Jake Mag. I'll tell you what, the other thing on this team, too, is they're a 39% three-point shooting team, so you can't let these guys out there open. Yeah, the they'll, they'll knock it down, they'll, absolutely. They'll burn you. This is Harris again. The 6'2 junior averages 17.9 a game. There's a dribble drive to the foul line. They'll be patient on offense, as you see. They'll go to the rim, shoot the outside shot. Missed layup there. Rebound comes down to Coke. That's Here come the Bulldogs. That's a long offensive set there for Pandora Gilbo. Not getting any results, but that's what this team will do as well. This know, is they're not afraid to hold on to the ball. This is Trenton Barraza. You've heard of him on the gridiron, the fantastic running back for Grove. And he takes the three-pointer from the left side off the back iron, and it hits the... Uh, What's the, what's the word I want to use here? The uh, extension? Uh, yeah, what is it? <laughs> we'll we'll guide wires. Guide there. wires, yeah, we'll just call them guide wires. So Trenton Barraza misses that shot. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Hawker Drywall and Plastering. Visit hawkerdrywall.com to see how we can help you. Hawker Drywall is our instant replay sponsor. So here come the Rockets, 13-3 and three on the year. Head, led by Coach Mike Lee, who's had a great career in Northwest Ohio. Fantastic coach. Wherever he's been, they've won basketball games. This is Aiden Harris again. Thought about shooting a three. He'll kick it back out to Aiden Morris. That's Good swing defense ball. right now by Columbus Road. Three ball on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Barraza. 5.39 to go on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Danny Hilbert, Darren Evergall from Pandor Gilboa High School. And you're right, Danny. There's a nice crowd here tonight for this game, but this is the, you know, State Route 12 rivalry. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> they get after it in this game. Skip pass across the right side. Dribble drive down to the baseline. They'll kick it back out. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Kyle Hopkins, the six-foot sophomore, knocks in the triple, and he gives the Bulldogs the 3-2 lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. He's throwing out 72 three-pointers. That's his 73rd one this season. This is Colin Harris. He kicks it back out. And we've got a stoppage in play, and we've got a foul. They're going to call Zach Reynolds on the foul. And all these names are <laughs> great football players for Grove and Pandora. And I'm sure you recognize them if you watch a lot of WSN. And there's a lot of good athletes on the floor tonight. Well, that's small schools, you know. You know, And all these guys know each other. Ah, yes. I mean, they're yep. not that far away from each other. Some of them probably even border those, each other. <laughs> Some of them may be related. There's a nice dribble drive off the left side. Ball comes down, rebound to Grove. Here comes the outlet. Grove will bring it down. They'll pull it back up, and they'll set their offense up. Well, the one thing Grove's doing right now is, like I said, they're a good rebounding team. 
Averaging about 30 rebounds a game, and they're not giving Pandora Gibbo a second opportunity at that basket. Three ball from the right side, and it's okay. good! Another triple falls down. Landon Best, the 5'10 freshman who averages five a game, knocks in the triple, and the Bulldogs are out to a quick 6-2 lead. And we've got another stoppage of play out top. And that's going to be an issue because those guards from Pandora Gilboa are going to move the ball around, and they will get to the rim. And, and you know that Grove knows that, so you're seeing a lot of hand checking early. Yeah, you know, and like I said, they're a good three-point shooting team, so you got to stay out there on them. You got, yeah, you got to close out absolutely. You can't let, and then that's what Pandora does. They'll take advantage of that. They'll drive around you when they got to get you away from the basket and just take it in there. Here's Barraza on the drive. Ball gets loose, picked up by. Pandora, they'll bring it down the left side, a nifty pass, and a oh. layup missed off the mark. That was number five, Owen Huffman, the junior, misses the shot, and it comes back to Columbus Grove. A little bit of that Pandora rocket uh, offensive surge right there. Kyle Hopkins with the ball, goes up the left side, nice left-handed layup. Kyle Hopkins, he's got five on the night already, and the Bulldogs have an 8-2 lead. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here on the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Pandora Gilboa High School, where with 3.51 to go, the Columbus Grove Bulldogs have jumped out to an 8-2 lead under the direction of Kyle Hopkins, who, who only averages 7.9 a game, and he's got five already, and he's playing really good basketball. Yeah, he certainly is, but right now, I mean, Columbus Grove is doing exactly what they need to do on defense, and, and they're not giving Columbus Grove opportunities to get to the basket. They're not giving them opportunities to get, you know, offensive rebounds and putbacks and that kind of thing. You know, they're holding them to one shot and out. And There's a turn. steal by Coke up the left side. He'll bring it down. He'll kick it back out. He wanted the ball back in the post. He got position, and they missed him. They'll bring it back out. This is Barraza on the right side. He'll go into the corner. Coke will screen for the ball. Three ball from the right to the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. Back to Grove. Multiple shots and multiple opportunities helping Grove out right now. Right now, they've got five rebounds. And Pandora's still looking for their first one. And there you see number 21, Kyle Hopkins gets fouled. That foul's on number five, Owen Huffman. That's his first. 3.18 to go. Columbus Grove leads 8-2 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. They'll take it out underneath their basket. Kick it into Coke. Coke with a little left-handed turnaround. Off the mark. Gets his own rebound. Ball goes on the floor. Dar, that is the third possession in a row that they've got multiple shots at. Yeah, and he's a load underneath there too, boy. I tell you, he takes up space in that, you know, that paint. You know, if he can get that little hook shot, that was a nice little nifty hook shot, just kind of rolled off. But if he can get that down, he's going to score a lot tonight. They'll go back into Coke to the right side, misses it. Rebound by Barraza. He knocks it in. He gives the Bulldogs the 10-2 lead. Everything falling for Columbus Grove right now. Trenton Barraza, he knocks in his first two of the night. Trenton averages just under 10.4 a game. Now the Rockets got to shut down that middle, not give Columbus Grove these uh, offensive rebounds. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. A triple they needed in the worst way, and Nate Mag knocks in the triple, and it's 10-5 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Yeah, Nate Mag, a junior, 6-3, averaging just under six points a game. And right now, they'll take those points. They'll double team out top, and they throw the ball away. So you saw the pressure there from Pandora Gilboa. They get pressure, and the ball gets thrown away. Turnover on the Grove Bulldogs, and it'll go back to Pandora Gilboa. Yes, yeah, turnover number two for Columbus Grove. Both teams with two turnovers now. But again, when they start throwing that press on there, that's when they start making things happen for this Rocket team. So Zach Neuenschwander's in the game now for Pandora. This is Aiden Harris. He swings it to the right side. Nice nifty oh. dribble drive by number five, Owen Huffman, as he gets through the defense, knifes in, and he scores the bucket to make it 12-7 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Excuse me, 10-7 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Yeah, 5-0 run for Pandora Gilbo right now. This is Barraza with the ball up top. 
He is guarded by Colin Harris, the 6'1 junior. Good matchup. Two good athletes out top. Barraza dribble drive to the foul line. Thought about shooting it. Kicks it out. Three ball from the top of the key. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Harris, and it's corralled by Aiden Harris. Aiden Harris, a little skip pass, and it's picked off by Kyle Hopkins. Kyle Hopkins goes to the middle, kicks it out to Barraza. Barraza goes back around the perimeter, and they'll go skip pass to the corner. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. The Grove Bulldogs are stroking from the outside tonight. Number five, Evan Souter, he knocks in the triple. And he'll, Pandora comes right back with a deuce and makes it 13-9 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Partner, they're going too quick for me to even keep up. I know. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Columbus Grove coming in only hitting 28% from three-point range, and they really are lighting it up right now. Pandora trying to double team up top. Look Three out. ball from the left side. <laughs> you almost called that one, partner. <laughs> Rebound comes down to Mays. He takes it back up. <sighs> Kylan Mays missed that shot. Blocked. And they've got some size in there with Mays is in there and Coke is in there. Those are big guys. Big, strong guys, I should say. Yeah, that's the thing. They're not just big. They're, they're stocky. They're <laughs> right. Strong underneath there. Yeah. You can really control that. And when they throw a screen, you know you you know, <laughs> you try to fight off that screen, you know what you hit. You better watch it, huh? There's a truck out there somewhere. <laughs> this is Keegan Bame up top for the dogs. They'll swing it to Mays. They'll try to go inside. Ball's picked off. Here comes Pandora down the middle. This is Derek Mag with the ball on the left side. He'll kick it back out to Jake Mag. This is Mag. We've got a hold up top. So the pressure that Pandora puts on the defense up top, you're seeing it right here. And Pandora is, or excuse me, Columbus Grove is moving those hands instead of their feet, and they're getting called for the fouls. Well, their game plan is basically we're going to drive to the basket. Yes. If we can't get in there, we're going to kick it back out to one of our three-point shooters, hoping that they're open down the outside. And it's been very effective for them all year long. Aiden Harris will trigger the ball out underneath their basket. 21.9 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Bulldogs lead 13-9 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Kick it back out. This is Owen Huffman. He'll kick it back to Colin Harris. They'll go back to Aiden Harris. Back to Derek Mag. Dribble drive. This is Jake Mag up top. He'll go back to Colin Harris. They'll hold the six. This is Aiden Harris with the ball up top. He takes it to the foul line, shot goes up, off the mark, rebound comes down, and no good. And that's how it'll end after one quarter play from Pandora Gilboa High School. The Bulldogs lead 13-9. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Hucker Drywall and Bustering. Visit HuckerDrywall.com to see how we can help you. Hucker Drywall is our instant replay. So 13-9, Dar, after one quarter. And the difference right now is the outside shooting in Columbus Grove. Yeah, uh, it's a, you know, they, like I said, they come in and hit 28% of their three-point shots. But, boy, they're in the corners out there. You know, they're getting some wide-open threes. You know, even, even when they start getting a little contested, the guy's still got time to get it off before the defender gets over there. Pandora's going to have to sew that up somehow. They're going to need sure. to get some guys out there and keep shooting those you know, corner threes. But if you these guys give any kind of confidence with they can start making all those, hey, you're in trouble. Well, I, you said it best when you said these guys know each other. Okay. There's no fear in this gym. These kids have played each other their whole life, and they're just neighbors down the road. So it's going to be a contested game. It certainly will be. And, you know, Pandora just needs to get on the inside a little bit more like that. There you go. Jake Mag on the right side comes out of nowhere, gets the ball, knocks it in, and he closes the gap 13 to 11 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Nice job by Mag to cut back door. Yeah, and they, and they lost him. They, they did, Grove yes. They lost him on that transition right there. So here comes Columbus Grove up 13 to 11. As they try to extend that lead, big screen by Coke out top. There's a drive by Hopkins. He goes in, and he's going to get the foul. So Kyle Hopkins, six-foot sophomore, goes to the rim, and he's going to go to the line, and he'll shoot two. 83% free throw shooter, 20 for 24 coming into this game. That's, that's pretty good, partner. <laughs> yeah, and a, a, kind of a lost art and free throw shooting has been. Well, we talk all the time on these broadcasts, and he knocks down the first one. We talk about the mid-range jumper and free throws. I mean, if you yeah. can do those things, you're going to be an effective ball player. Particularly the big guys. And Absolutely. we've seen some big guys this year that are really good at the free throw line, and that's real encouraging to see. 
Kyle Hopkins knocks in both of them. He makes it 15 to 11 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Kyle Hopkins has got seven to lead the Bulldogs. Yeah, only a sophomore too. So yeah, he's he a nice player. For a couple of Absolutely. Years. Averaging eight point, just under eight points a game. And well, he's already got what, three, four, five, seven, like you said. This is Aiden Harris back into Mag, who cuts down the, to the right side. He gets fouled, and another good job of Jake Mag, the 6'2 senior, recognizing he's really good moving without the ball. Yeah, he sure is. And, and the Rock is a really good fight in the game. That's a great point. Because he, he just kind of disappears there for yeah. a second and then reemerges again. So Mag with his first one, off the mark. Jake Mag shoots 64% from the line. He gets the second one, and he makes it 15-12 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. So some pressure, some man pressure by the Rockets as they uh, try to speed up the Bulldogs. Yeah, I saw this a little bit last Friday against Arlington. That's what they like to do. They like to get out there, and if, if they get behind you know, at all, they put that pressure on. And there's that steal they were looking for. Here they come. This is Aiden Harris. He's their leading scorer at 17.9 a game. And that's the last thing Columbus Groves hopes for as he gets on track. Thought about taking the three from the top of the key. They'll swing it back out to Harris. Good job Harris, by uh, yeah. Trent Braz out there on defense. Ball got away, but it's corralled by the Bulldogs. Up and under, and a nice scoop and score by Aiden Morris, the six-foot sophomore. He gets on the board, and he makes it 15-14 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. You are correct, Dar. Your observation, they go to the rim every play. Every play. Yes, and they it, do. And they have so many guys that can do it. They're going to get Harris on the foul out top. Aiden Harris. That's his first. His team is third foul. Entering the game now for Grove is number 21, Kyle Hopkins. And number 12, Landon, or excuse me, number 13, Landon Best. As physical as this game is, it really hasn't been that many fouls. No, it's been a clean game so far here. This is Hopkins out top. He's guarded by Derek Mag. They'll go to the corner, swinging around. Pandora Gilboa still in their man-to-man -man defense. This is Barraza with the ball. 6.04 to play here in the second quarter. Columbus Grove leads 15-14. Yeah, Grove needs to get Barraza more into the scoring column. He only has two points so far. And Pandora doing a nice job on him. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Kyle Hopkins knocks in another triple. Makes it 18 to 14. Hopkins has got 10 on the night. Uh, Coach Lee's probably going to you know, say, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty good. <laughs> Why is that guy out there open all the time? This is Aiden Harris with a dribble drive. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. Goes out of bounds. And they're going to say it's going to go back to Grove. Yeah. Coach, he's going to make a couple adjustments. He's going to have to get somebody out there. I park somebody out there in that corner there and not let that kid shoot that. Entering the game now for Pandora Gilboa is number five, Owen Huffman, and number 34, Nate Mag. And if you watch Columbus Grove's offensive set star, Pandora is double teaming up top, and Coke is in the middle, and they're missing him. But they, when they do find him, they're kicking it out for a three. Yeah, they're doing a lot of concentration on Trenton Brock. Exactly, right they sure are. And there's a steal out top by Derek Mag. Oh, nice little spin oh. move, and he knocks it in. Derek Mag with the deuce, and he makes an 18-16 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. That was nifty. Yeah, sure was. <laughs> Somebody was watching the NBA or something. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty smooth on Derek Mag's part. Pandora Gilboa continues to double team up top. This is Barraza. He's guarded by Aiden Morris. They'll swing it around. Hopkins finds Coke inside. He misses the little layup. Rebound comes down to Pandora. They'll bring it down on the left side, down 18-16, 4.35 to go in the second quarter. Three ball from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the dogs. Outlet pass all the way down to Coke. He takes it up, and it's, oh, and we got a foul. Looked like a block, but they're going to say Owen Huffman fouled Tad Coke on the shot. Yeah, he thought he had all ball there too, but you know, 
Not a bad foul, really, though. Right. I'll tell you what, Tad Koch is getting open a lot, and they're, they're forgetting about the young man, and he's putting himself in position to score a lot of buckets. And I'll tell you what surprised me about it statistically wise when it comes to, to Tad is the fact that he's only been, the, you know, 8 for 16 at the foul line. Yeah. That one rims out. Entering the game now for Pandora Gilboa, number 23, Zach Neuenschwander, and number one, Colin Harris. So their leading scorer, Aiden Harris, the 6'2 junior, he's going to take a seat, and he averages 18 a game. So Coach Lee's going to let him get a breather, and Coke knocks in the second one. And he gives the Bulldogs the 19-16 lead. So if you're Coach Souter, you got to be pleased from what you're seeing so far. Yeah, because, you know, it seems like every time Pandora makes a little bit of a run, looks like they're going to take the lead or tie the game up. Grove puts in a basket or a point somewhere. Colin Harris guarded by Barraza up top. They'll swing it back to Derek Mag. Derek Mag goes to the foul line, gets it back to Nate Mag. This is Colin Harris with the ball. He goes up to the left side. Nice little shot, but it goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Bulldogs, and Barraza will bring it down the left side. And again, you know, and all, you know, take away the offensive rebounds from Pandora Gilboa. And there you see Trent Barraza, and that's what you said, Dar. They need to get him more involved, and that's a nice little nifty shot. And he makes it 21-16. Barraza's got four on the night. Yeah, he's a smooth player. He sure he? is. There's a three ball from the top of the key, and it's good. Derek Mag, the six-foot senior, knocks it in. He's got five on the night, and he makes it 21-19 on the Sprunger scoreboard. Well, you're looking at a 46% three-point shooter right there. Yeah, that was smooth. Man. <laughs> kind of a line drive shot, but he knows what he's doing. And Coach Souter from Columbus Grove is going to take a timeout. That'll give us a chance to take a timeout. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Pandora Gilboa High School. Where with 3.25 to go until halftime, the Columbus Grove Bulldogs have jumped out to a 21-19 lead with some really hot shooting. Yeah, absolutely, and really good sound defense. And like I said, every time it seems like Pandora Gilbo is going to make a run at it, you know, take the lead, tie the game up, whatever. Grove just comes back and gets that little bit of push, get a little bit of basket here or there, you know, and maintain their uh, advantage. A little handoff there. Gets it out to the right side. Three ball in the way. Rebound comes down. Goes straight back up. He got his own rebound. This is Mays again. So you saw Kyle Hopkins miss the three ball. Gets his own rebound. They'll swing it back around. And we've got a foul underneath. They're going to say, I think they're going to say Kylan Mays with the foul underneath away from the ball. Yeah, and that's exactly what foul. they're going to yeah. say, yeah. And I didn't see. I wasn't watching him underneath the basket, so I'm not real sure what he did. But the official made an emphatic call and moved it like he pushed off. So here come the Rockets. This is Derek Mag with the ball up top. They'll swing it around. Three ball from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Bulldogs. Here comes Trenton Barraza up the left side. Barraza will take it to the foul line. Nice little up and under. Misses shot. Gets his own rebound. Takes it back up and he's fouled. And there you saw the athleticism of Trenton Barraza with the missed shot. Gets his own rebound and he's going to go to the line for two. Well, I think Trenton knows, you know, I, I need to be the guy to get in here and really mess it up on the inside for these guys because, sure. you know, he's, he's their offensive leader coming in averaging about 10 points a game, but he's also their field general. And, yes. And if you're going to get, you know, point. maintain this lead and stuff, I got to get involved more. So Barraza knocks that one down. Barraza, a 68% free throw shooter. That's number 42 this season. He's got four on the night with that free throw. Gives the Bulldogs the 22-19 lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And quickly, uh, Coach Lee brings back in Aiden Harris, his leading scorer. And Barraza has the second one. He's got five on the night. The Dogs lead 23-19 on the Sprunger scoreboard. So here come the Rockets. They'll bring it down, down four, 2.32 to go. Aiden Harris up top. He's guarded by, <clears throat> excuse me, Evan Souter, coach's son. They did a nice job on, on Aiden Harris so far to keep him away from the basket. Yes, they have. This is Colin Harris. Little wheel action. This is Aiden Harris from out top, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Mays. Barrazzo Corral, and the dogs will bring it down. 
unofficially has 13 rebounds for Columbus Grove to just four for Pandora. Well, they're doing the little things. They're, they're, yeah. they're rebounding. They're getting loose balls. They're playing really good defense. Kudos to Coach Souter and his staff for having his kids ready because they are playing extremely well right now. Now we've got another half to go, but so far so good for the Bulldogs. And they're very, you know, they're playing very patient when they have to. You know, they're not hurrying anything up. And not the Pandora Gilboa is playing bad. They're not. <laughs> this is Barraza from the left side. Ball gets scooted away, but it's picked back up. And they'll corral it. Keegan Bain with the ball up top. This is Bain from the right side. Three ball on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. It goes out of bounds. And they're going to say the ball is going to go back to Grove, I believe. Yes, yes, they are. So you saw number 10 for Pandora Gilboa. Aiden Morris went for the ball. Thought he saved it in bounds, but they're going to say he stepped off the line. And Kyle Hopkins will take it out on the side. If Grove another opportunity to get in their set. Keegan Bain swings it around to Barraza. Barraza guarded out top by Aiden Morris. Bulldogs lead 23-19. Very patient on offense. Good ball movement by the Bulldogs. Bame swings it back around. Souter kicks it back out. Ball stolen away. Nice steal there by, and it's the dogs steal it back. A little bit of reverse, nice reverse layup by Zach Neuenschwander. Excuse me, I'm sorry, that was Keegan Bame. Keegan Bain for Columbus Grove. Ball's on the floor again. Dog to steal. Goes back to Pandora. Back to Columbus Grove. And now we got a little chaos as the ball's going everywhere. And with 33 seconds to go, Chris Souter said, slow it down, fellas. We're going to hold for one. Yeah, keep it in the hands of Trenton Barraza for a while. Barraza swings it around to Bain. Bain with the ball up top. He's guarded by Colin Harris. Down to 17 seconds. Harris pokes the ball away, goes out of bounds, and go back to Columbus Grove. That's those long arms of the Rockets. They'll bring Zach Reynolds back in and Tad Coke. If you're dribbling that basketball out there, you better keep it close to your body and not out in front of you because these guys are going <laughs> to poke it away. Absolutely. Columbus Grove will also check back in. Number 13 landed best, 5'10 freshman. Fifteen point three seconds to go. Kyle Hopkins triggers it in. This is Best with the ball out top. He's guarded by Owen Huffman. They'll get it to Barraza. Barraza brings it around with seven seconds to go. Barraza goes to the middle, takes it up left side, and he's going to get fouled. And they're going to say Colin Harris fouled him. And a nice dribble drive by Trent Barraza to go to the line and get a chance for two. Yeah, really nice drive to the basket. Kind of faded away from the basket, knowing he was going to probably get fouled on that play. Threw it up there hoping it would go in, but either way he was going to get a chance to get some foul on it. So Barraza will let the first one fly, and it's good. Trenton Barraza knocks that down. He gives the dogs the 26-19 lead. Barraza's got seven on the night to lead the dogs. And like we said, you know, earlier on, you know, Barraza knows he's the field general out there. He needs to be involved in their offense. Second one is good. He's got eight on the night, and the Bulldogs lead 27-19. Here comes Pandora. They'll bring it down. They get a three off, and he knocks it in. Aiden Harris gets the three, and they needed that in the worst way. So after two quarters of play, Columbus Grove leads Pandora Gilboa 27-22 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. When we come back, we'll have second half action. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Pandora Gilboa High School, where after two quarters of play, the Columbus Grove Bulldogs surprising the Rockets and lead 27-22. And it's all about outside shooting right now for Columbus Grove. Well, two things for Columbus Grove. They, you know, they're four for 10 from three-point range, you know, for 40%, and seven for eight at the foul line, you know, for 88%. So, you know, right now, they're, that free throw line has been very good to them. You know, they really are only hitting 29% from the field, so they made it all up from the three-point range. So really, it hasn't been a great shooting night for them, but they're hitting where they need to hit. And the biggest thing for Columbus River right now is they've got 13, I've got them down on officially 13 rebounds, just four for Pandora Gilboa. So Pandora's not getting any second shots at all. Even though they're shooting 45% from the field, you know, 
and three for eight from three-point range. They've only been to the foul line one for two at the foul line, so they're not getting to the foul line at all. And for Pandora, you look, it seems like it's a struggle right now offensively. They just can't knock down the open shots, and they need to get Aiden Harris back on track. Now he got a huge three there to end the first half, which was huge for him, but they need to score. Well, yeah, they need to get back to that. Yeah, I mean, they opened up the game with a drive immediately by yes, Aiden Harris right. right to the basket for two points, and they haven't even done that since then. You know, that's, yeah, they make those drives. Give credit to Columbus Crow's defense. Yes, They're absolutely. Shutting down that middle. They're not letting those guys in there. Check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner. Dar and I will pick a winner after the game tonight, so stick around for that from Stolly Insurance, our Stolly Hustle Award. So we get ready to start the second half action here from Pandora Gilboa High School. Danny Holbrook, Dar never go, bringing you high school basketball on a chilly, chilly late <laughs> January night, Dar. About 19 when I walked in. Yeah, the night. I think it's supposed to get out about seven tonight. That's nice. I just love winter in Ohio. Yeah, yeah it's one or the other, you know. That's right. We got kind of spoiled earlier on. We did. We did. You know, but it's going to make up for it now. now. I can imagine what the coaches when they went into the locker room, you know. But Coach Lee particularly is going to be talking about his guys. Get out and defend those corners. Don't let these guys throw up those threes. Yeah. And a nice slip screen there by Tad Coke as he the ball went to him and it went out of bounds, and they're going to say it goes back to Columbus Grove. I thought it went off Coke there, but it looks like Pandora touched it last. Yeah, nice move on the inside by the big guy. Well, like I said, I was a little amazed looking at his, you know, the statistics that he hasn't been able to get to the foul line as much as you, you would have thought he would. This is Zach Reynolds up top with the ball. He gets a screen from Coke. They'll kick it back out to Barraza. Barraza will kick it back out to... Landon Best, the freshman. Well, this is something Groves, you know, going to have to do this whole second half is run these good set offenses. Don't be in a hurry to, you know, throw the ball up there. Just, you know, make crisp passes. You know, don't let the Rockets get in your passing lanes, but just keep the ball away from them. You know, if you run two minutes off on an offensive set, so what? They'll swing it down to the corner. Landon Best with the ball. Skip pass across the floor. Barraza in the corner. Barraza guarded by Derek Mag. Barraza tries to go baseline. He'll kick it back around. Ball's deflected. Grove will corral it. And we got a foul out top. And we're going to get Aiden Harris on the reach around foul. That's his second. Team first of the second half. Like I said, Eric. Aiden Harris had five points in that first half. The eight of the three-pointer right the, at the last second. But, you know, they really had done a nice job of keeping him in check. You know, guys that's averaging 18 points a game. There's a three ball from the top of the key by Reynolds. It goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Colin Harris. He'll corral it. He gets it to Aiden Morris. Aiden Morris up top tries to go to Aiden Harris. You know, Dar, we talked earlier in the broadcast Columbus Grove comes in losing five in a row, and they sure don't look like they, they've had a, obviously a good couple of days of practice here because they look fresh and they look ready to play. Well, and they really haven't you know, been blown out of games or anything. Sure, like right, that. right, right. That's a great point. You know, it's it's more or less. You know, we've got a. They've got really nothing to lose in this game right now. There's a three ball on the way from the right side. Aiden Harris, the junior sharpshooter, knocks in the triple, and he's got eight on the night. And he closes the gap to 27-25 on the Sprunger scoreboard. Wayden's well, a 44% three-point shooter, so don't let him get open, guys. Well, he's got back-to-back -back threes for him. If you remember, he had the last one of the first half, and he's got the first one of the second half. Now this, you know, like I said, this is a 39% three-point shooting team in this Rocket team, and if you get out, them to get out there and get hot from three-point range, this can make a miserable night for you. So they're going to have to get out there and really contest him now. Foul was on number two, Derek Mag. That'll send 21 Kyle Hopkins to the line. The six-foot sophomore knocks it in. Kyle had a, has had a great night right now for the Bulldogs. He's got 10 on the night. Second one on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Colin Harris. 27-25 on the Sprunger scoreboard. Danny Holbrook, Darn Evergall from Pandora Gilboa High School. Little PCL action tonight. It's turnover number six now for the Rockets tonight. That one is a mis you know, miscue that just bounced right off his leg. 
This is Hopkins up top. He's guarded by Colin Harris. They'll swing it to Barraza. Barraza on the left side. Barraza's got seven. A near steal. It goes out of bounds. And they're going to say the ball goes back to Pandora. The Rockets really need a basket, you know, right now because they just can't seem to get over the hump. You know, they get close. Yes, every time they, they get close. That's a great point. <laughs> the, uh, Columbus Grove comes back and gets a basket to keep their margin, you know, like three, maybe four. There's a foul up top as Colin Harris tries to go around Trent Barraza, and he's going to get fouled up top. And that is the first one on Barraza. 5.29 to go here in the third quarter. Bulldogs lead 28-25 on the Sprunger scoreboard. Now we talked about Trent, Trent Barraza needing to get in the offense of Columbus Groves. The guy for Pandora Gilbo is that young man right there, Colin Harris. He has not scored yet tonight. The average is just under 10 points a game. And had 14 against Bluffton in the last game. Nice little dribble drive there by Aiden Harris. That was down and in, and it comes back out. Barraza with the ball. He's double teamed. Ball's on the ground. Here come the Bulldogs down the left side. They'll kick it out to the right side to Zach Reynolds. Thought about shooting a three. Three ball from the right side. Kyle Hopkins, and he nails it. Kyle Hopkins, another triple, and he gives the Dogs the 31-25 lead on the Springer scoreboard. Hopkins has got 14 to lead all scores. And that's his third three-pointer from that corner. They like that corner. Well, he sure does. <laughs> he does like that corner. This is Jake Mag with the ball, guarded by Tad Coke. Mag takes it in, thought about spinning around, almost a near steal out top. This is Owen Huffman. He'll get the ball over to Aiden Morris. Morris guarded by Hopkins up top. Good in-your-face defense by Columbus Grove right now. Back to Jake Mag. Goes back to Colin Harris. Colin Harris tries dribble drive on the right side. Scoop shot off the mark. Rebound comes down, corralled by the Bulldogs, and nothing falling right now for the Rockets. Jake Mag tried to steal the ball. They're going to say Tad Coke fouls him, and Coke was behind him on that play, and he reaches around him to get the ball, and they're going to say Coke is a foul. That's so his second one. And, and Jake Mag's coming off the floor, holding his, it looked like he was limping a little bit. You hope he's all right. He came down pretty hard. Yeah, he did. Right on his back. He's, he's kind of rubbing his lower back right now. And he's a valuable piece to that Pandora offense. So you four somebody minutes. you need in there with Coke out there. You Absolutely. That, you have to have Jake Mag out there. So under the four-minute mark here in the third quarter, Columbus Grove continues to lead 31-25. This is Aiden Harris. Little alley-oop. They tried to go back to Colin Harris, and the Bulldogs hit the ball. This is Coke on the left side. He's going to wait to a guard to come down and get it back to him. So he'll swing it around to Kyle Hopkins. Everything going Grove way right now. That was a smart move by Coke too. You know? <laughs> yes, it was, absolutely. Take the ball, don't even look at the basket. Just wait for your guards. This is Barraza, a little skip pass down the baseline. Three ball on the way, and it's good. <laughs> Another three by Kyle Hopkins, and Dar, he's having the game of his life. He's got 17 right now, and the Bulldogs lead 34-25 on the Sprunger scoreboard. Well, he came in at you know, she's 32% from three-point range. He's throwing up 72 of them coming into this contest, and he's feeling it tonight. He, <laughs> you, know, you, you, you know, we broadcast a lot of games, and you know when you're watching somebody in the zone, and he right now he's in the zone. Oh, yeah, and until you get out there and contest him, he's just going to keep throwing them up there, guys. <laughs> Kyle Hopkins, good for that young man, because you see he's got confidence just shooting out of his ears right now. So here comes Pandora. They need a bucket in the worst way. They'll swing it around. Ball goes down to Colin Harris. Colin Harris goes up. Nice pass across. And they finally get the bucket. Nate Mag knocks it in for the Rockets, and they needed that in the worst way. And it's 34-27 on the Sprunger scoreboard. And they get a steal here. So here comes Pandora Gilboa as they're trying to make their run to close that gap here with 2.40 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, they've only got five points here in this third quarter, so... They really needed that steal right there before this game got out of hand. Don't blink now, but Pandora right back in this one. And we knew they would be, Dar. They're, they're too good of a team to count out. You know, they're too good of a you know offensive scoring team. Well, they have too many weapons. I mean, sure. somebody's going to get into it. There's a three from the top of the key. Goes off the mark. And it looked like Zach Reynolds had the ball, and he's going to be fouled by Colin Harris. 
So Colin Harris with the foul for Pandora Gilboa. That's his second foul. You look at the board, several Rockets now are two fouls. So like New and Schwander will come back in. Go ahead, excuse me. Like I said, Danny, for Colin Harris, it's, it, you know, two fouls, okay. But it's the zero when you look up the scoreboard. That's a great point. not scored. Yeah. Barraza gets loose in the backcourt, takes it up, and what? They, they get a foul or a travel? I thought they get, okay, they call a foul. I, I thought he turned around and called a travel play or a travel call, but they got a foul on Colin Harris, and now that's a problem, Dar. We just talked now, about that. That's a problem. Yeah, because you never know. That kid could light it up any time now. Well, he put, you know, he's going to you know, he's gonna come out right now with three fouls. Yeah. So Derek Mag will check in for Colin Harris. And he's ooh, and you saw Trent Barraza and Derek Mag kind of get tied up there. And a little aggravation there on both parts. Uh, nice move by Tad Koch to pull him away. Yeah. That's senior leadership right there. So nice job by Tad Koch of saying, hey, Trent, <laughs> you're having too good of a game. We don't need you to get in trouble here. Absolutely not. And there's a, a good move by Coach Lee. Or excuse me, Coach Souter, he's going to take him out of the game and let him cool down a little bit. Yeah, you don't want your, your field general out there, you know, getting thrown out of this game. Three ball on the way by Kyle Hopkins. Are we surprised he takes that shot? A little heat check there by Hopkins. So now what, we missed the call here. Turnover. Turnover, okay. So the ball goes back to Columbus Grove. And that was a good piece of officiating. The officials didn't give any technicals. They brought both boys across. They talked to them. I really like that. So many times we see, you know, maybe a, a, a hasty technical or something, and I love that officiating right there where they just brought them and talked to them. Well, and I think the officials know coming into this game, this is two teams, like sure. you said, that know each other. They're only, you know, 10 miles apart, you know. Uh, there's a lot of things in this game, so the emotions are going to be running, and it's sure. a really hotly contested game, too. I mean, you know, a lot of defense, a lot of physical play and stuff. You know, and so, yeah, let them play a little bit, but, but you know, just kind of quiet them down. Coaches did a nice job getting them off the court, letting them cool his jets a little bit. This is Landon Best with the ball. He'll go to the middle. He'll kick it to the corner. Three ball from the left side, and it's good! Zach Reynolds! Excuse me, no, that was, oh, sorry, Evan Souter. My apologies, Evan Souter. He knocks in the triple and he makes it 37 27. That's the biggest lead of the night by the Bulldogs. That's his second three pointer of the night. They've got three three pointers here in the second half. Derek Mag with the ball up top. Swing it back. Aiden Morris tries to go in. Aiden Morris is going to draw a foul. And that is another thing that Pandora needs to do is get to the line with the clock stop. Yeah, they certainly do. And, you know, they are a good free throw shooting team, but they weren't able to get the line. They were only one for two in the first half. Didn't get the opportunities there. So Aiden Morris will go to the line. He's a 62% free throw shooter. He knocks in the first one. And he cuts the lead to 37-28. And there's Trent Barraza come back in the game. Along with Keegan Bain and Kylan Mays for the Bulldogs. Jake Mag enters back into the game for Pandora. Aiden Morris with the first shot. He knocks it in. Excuse me, the second one. And he makes it 37 29 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboards. With that press by the Rockets again. They're going to stay in that press and they get a near steal there. They did get the turnover. They did get this turnover. They, get, they did give it back to Pandora. So a nice job by the Rocket defense of getting the ball back. They'll swing it back out top. This is Aiden Morris as he swings it over to Derek Mag. Looking for Aiden Harris down low. Jake Mag looks to push it down. This is Harris with the ball up the left side. And a nice dribble drive by Aiden Harris. There you saw his length right there as he gets two dribbles to the rim and he scores to make it 37-29. Right now, I'm pretty that I got from the scroll with 10 turnovers. They average 14 turnovers a game, and the reason and there's a possible another one right there. And almost a steal. And Aiden Morris with the defensive pressure. And Morris gets Barraza to throw the ball away. And man, that was some tough defense by number 10, Aiden Morris. Certainly was. You know, and it's a you look at, you know, averaging 14 turnovers a game, it's a very young Columbus Grove team. There's only one senior out there on this squad for Columbus Grove. 
So Aiden Morris will trigger the ball in. He gets it into Jake Mag. Mag tries to swing it around, looking for Aiden Harris. They'll get him the ball up top. Swing it to Neuenschwander. Neuenschwander almost loses it. Dribble drive inside, but he kicks it back out. We'll go back to Aiden Morris. Ball got away, but Jake Nag and Kalen Mays with a little tie-up. They're going to say it held ball. Let's see. It's going to stay with uh, Pandora Gilboa. Goes back to the Rockets. 28 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Bulldogs lead 37-31. This is Aiden Harris with the ball up top. He'll swing it to Neuenschwander. Neuenschwander dribble drive in the middle. Shot goes up, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Neuenschwander. Tries to go back up, and they're going to get a foul. So Zach Neuenschwander misses the shot, but the ball got tipped back to him. He tried to go back up, and he's going to be fouled. They're going to say it was on the floor. The ball goes back to Pandora with 14 seconds to go, down 37-31. This is Mag guarded by Mays. They'll go back to Harris. Harris dribble drive to the foul line. They're down to eight seconds. Harris goes to the foul line, takes it up. He's fouled, and the shot goes in, and they're saying it counts. They're going to say the shot counted. So Aiden Harris, the leading scorer for the Rockets, tries to help his team, and he gets a big bucket right there with four seconds to go until the start of the fourth quarter to make it 37-33. And what a strength move. Oh, too, my goodness. Him. I mean, he had, his arm was out here, and he had to just jerk it up there to even put that ball up. And he knocks in the free throw, and he puts Pandora right back where they needed to be. 37-34, and Aiden Harris has 15. Those are a quiet 15. Yes, I'm telling are. you, he, you watch him play, and he's really smooth. And 15, you'd think he doesn't have that many, but he's he's really good. Well, you know, and he's really coming on strong here in the second half, which is what he needed to do. Here comes Zach Reynolds up the right side. One second to go. Shot goes up. Oh, off the mark. So after three quarters of play from Pandora Gilboa High School, the Columbus Grove Bulldogs continue to lead 37-34. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Pandora Gilboa High School. After three quarters, the Columbus Grove Bulldogs continue to lead 37-34. And Dar, you look at Aiden Harris, the 6'2 junior who averages nearly 18 a game, had 10 in that quarter. And they say big players play big in big games, and that's exactly what he did in the third quarter. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, like I said, you know, it was going to come down to this when it comes to this, you know, sure. these two teams. We knew it would be close, you know, contested game. But the big thing is, is can Columbus Grove hang in this fourth quarter? You know, like I said, they're a very young team, only one senior on their squad. You know, maybe that's what's you know, those kind of things. Turnover-wise, that's number 12 for them. You know, they've had like three or four of them in a row coming down to the stretch. So is that going to wear on them? And they're going to start throwing the ball away, you know? So Barraza throws the ball, tried to get it to Tad Koch and underneath the basket, and he just overthrows him. And they're going to have Barraza take a seat. So here come the Rockets with a chance to tie it up. This is Harris with the ball up top. They'll swing it around to Colin Harris. He looks at Aiden Harris. Aiden Harris with the ball down low. Tries to turn around. He's guarded heavily. Little, nice little turnaround. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Reynolds. Reynolds kicks it out to Evan Souter. Zach Reynolds will take it up. He's guarded by Owen Huffman up top. And the Bulldogs don't have to be in a hurry. Nice drive on the left side by Kyle Hopkins. He misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Aiden Harris. Harris gets it out to Colin Harris. Colin Harris goes baseline. He loses the ball and it goes out of bounds. But they're going to say the Columbus Grove touched it last. Colin Harris has not scored in this game yet, but he's done a lot of other things. You know, good defense out there. Sure. You know, getting open you know, a few times, getting guys open and stuff. But boy, if he can get on fire here in this fourth quarter, you know, to offset Aiden Harris, you know, they could really turn this game around. This is Jake Mag out top. He'll throw it to Derek Mag. They'll go back to Aiden Harris. Mag again, running a little wheel action here up top. 
He'll go back to Owen Huffman from the three, and he knocks it down. Owen Huffman knocks down the triple, and we're all tied up here. 37 all on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. So you just wonder, partner, if that's what Pandora needed was to get that gap closed, and now they've tied it up. Yeah, they weren't able to get it over that hump the whole game. Right, right. So close every time, and they just couldn't get that back into it. There's a steal, and Colin Harris is going to go up the right side, and he gives the Rockets the lead at 39-37. Pandora has come all the way back, and Coach Souter is going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout on the floor. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back here to Pandora Gilboa High School, where with 6.09 to go in this contest, the Pandora Gilboa Rockets have taken a 39-37 lead. They're 5-0 right now in the fourth quarter. And they're really playing good basketball. Yeah, they are. And you know, they're starting to put that pressure on and they're starting to get the turnovers they needed to get to get the breaks gone. You know, but you know, Harris has finally come alive. They did a nice job on him all the first half, but you know. You can't keep that young man down. I mean, well, he's averaging almost 18 right. points a game. You know, so you can't keep him down. Uh, they've done a nice job defensively on everybody else out there, too. But. Well, you said it earlier, and I think it's a great point that they just had to get over that hump. And it was like when they got the lead, it was like there was like a pressure left the building, and everybody kind of relaxed. And, and so here we are. Let's see what can happen now. Grove's got the ball, and they're going to pressure the ball up top as they've got Aiden Harris and his length all the way up top. Nice cut by Souter back door. He misses the shot. And they're going to say the foul's on Tad Coke. And that's a tough break for the Bulldogs. Yeah, it certainly is. Souter was wide open underneath the basket and missed that shot. That's the third foul now on Tad Coke. Barraza comes back in the game. And they're going to have Evan Souter take a seat. It's going to put the, the Rockets at the foul line. Jake Mag will go to the line as they are in the bonus now. Jake with one for two in the first half at the foul line. Mag with the first one. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Bulldogs. Kyle Hopkins gets the ball back to Zach Reynolds. Zach Reynolds up top, guarded by Colin Harris. Goes swinging around to Kyle Hopkins. Hopkins quiet a little bit here in the third quarter as he's had a great first half. Got 17 to lead the dogs. Yeah, he's got uh, seven here in the second half. Two three pointers. First half, he was lighting it up and finished with 10 at the half. Yeah, he hasn't had that open three out there. No, he hasn't. Corner. Right. Coach Lee's, I'm sure, was a, emphasizing that to his troops at halftime. Here, Barraza on the dribble drive. Nice scoop shot. Misses the shot. He gets his own rebound, puts it back up. He gets fouled, and he's going to go to the line for two. So you saw the quickness there of Trent Barraza as he does a nice job of getting to the rim. And he's been quiet for a while, but his team needed that. Yeah, they certainly do. And that's the guy that's really got to lead him here down the stretch. You know, he's got a challenge this Pandora Gamble Rocket team. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Hawker Drywall and Plastering. Visit HawkerDrywall.com to see how we can help you. Hawker Drywall is our instant replay sponsor. So Barraza knocks that one down. He's got eight on the night. He makes it 39-38 on the Sprung Insurance scoreboard. Second one's up, and it's good. Barraza looks cool as the other side of the pillow on those two shots. He's got nine. Here come the Rockets. All tied up at 39 on the Sprunger scoreboard. Colin Harris with the ball up top. They'll swing it back to Aiden Harris. Aiden, look, little dribble drive. They're going to say there was a screen out top, and they're going to get a foul on number two, Zach Reynolds. And Coach Souter is not happy about that call. Yeah, he's not happy at all. Rockets in the one one. So Jake Mag will go to the line. He'll shoot one and one. First one on the way. And that's twice now Mag's missed the front end of a one and one. Both so times been a little strong on the shot. It gives the Bulldogs life here. It's 39 all on the Sprunger scoreboard. This is Barraza guarded out top. And the steal there by Colin Harris. And the ball goes out of bounds and go back to the Bulldogs. So a lucky break there for Columbus Grove as Colin Harris had a clear steal and the ball goes out of bounds. Uh, 
good opportunity again for uh, Columbus Grove to get, take that lead back again. Oh, nice. So there you saw Landon Best cut to the basket, got a clear breakaway, and he gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, that's foul on number 40. Jake well, that's Mack another young first. man. He had three points in the first Team half six. and hasn't scored here in the second Columbus half Grove either. Shoot Columbus two. Grove. That's Jake Mag's first foul. Landon Best will go to the line. He's a 93% shooter, and he shows you why there as he knocks that one down. It's the wrong guy to foul, partner. He's 93%. Yeah, he's, that makes him 14 for 15 so far. <laughs> that young man knows what the free throw line's for. Second one on the way. Knocks that one down, and he gives the Bulldogs the 41-39 lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. So, well, I'm a freshman. I know what i got to do to get in the starting lineup. And I'm going to do it. And I, and that's it, 93% of my free throws. <laughs> well, you know you're going to be on the floor on crunch time. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. So Coach Souter shows you the trust he has in the young freshman with 4.15 to go. He's on the floor. Three ball from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by the Rockets. Ball gets away. Here comes Kyle Hopkins with the ball. And that's where it'll stop. Kyle Hopkins gets the ball. And Columbus Grove, with four minutes to play, leads 41-39. Now just be deliberate. Just play your game. Hopkins swings it back to Reynolds. Reynolds motion for Barraza to come screen. They'll go to the corner. They'll go back to Landon Best. Almost threw it away. This is Reynolds dribble drive to the foul line. Goes up with the left hand, and they're going to get a foul on number 34, and that's Nate Mag for the Rockets. And that's a smart move there by Club Strip. Yes, I mean, it was. Just, just don't hurry your shots. Take the best shot you can. Get to the foul line. You know, that's crunch time right now. Get to the foul line. So Zach Reynolds goes to the line. He's a 56% shooter from the line. Reynolds has no points on the night, so he's looking for his first one, and that goes off the mark, and he's still scoreless. He's averaging six points a game. You're right, and he hasn't scored anything tonight. Right. He's got to have this one here. Second one on the way, and it's good. That one looked really good, and he gives the Bulldogs the 42-39 lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. So Zach Reynolds gets his first points of the night, so the Rockets are going to try to match it here. Aiden Morris picked the ball up there and gets it back to Aiden Harris. Back inside to Colin Harris, and that ball is knocked out. It was blocked by Columbus Grove. They're going to say a ball was tied up, and it goes back to Pandora. So Pandora had the nice shot. They had the position in the middle. They just got it blocked. Yeah, Grove did a nice job, though, on the inside, man. It, that's one of the things we talked about early on. You know, they, Pandora knew they'd be tested on the inside when you got big guys like that, like Coke, Coke underneath the basket. There's a steal by Columbus Grove. And 3.14 to go here. Columbus Grove in control, 42-39. They can need some time off right now. Hopkins guarded tightly up top by Aiden Morris. Barraza with the ball, dribble drives in the middle. Ball gets loose, and they're going to say it goes back to Columbus Grove. So, partner, if Columbus Grove can pull off the upset, and it would be a huge upset, there's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Pandora Gilboa High School, where with 2.57 to go in the game, the Columbus Grove Bulldogs lead 42-39. And, and partner, you look, Columbus Grove averages 46 a game. They're at 42. The interesting point about that is Pandora averages 60 a game, and they are 21 points under their season average. Give a lot of credit to the Grove defense. Oh, absolutely. You know, you gotta give credit to the Grove defense. Pandora not shooting as well as they, and they normally do either. Sure. You know, but they haven't gotten the opportunities they normally get either. They haven't gotten any fast break opportunities. They certainly haven't gotten the rebounding and second shot opportunities. So Grove doing everything they need to do to win this game. So here we go. Kyle Hopkins tries to trigger the ball in. 
He gets it back out top to Zach Reynolds. They lose the ball. It's stolen. Aiden Morris goes up on the left side, and he knocks it in, and he's fouled. Aiden Morris with the acrobatic left-handed layup. He's going to go to the line for an old-fashioned three to try to tie it at 42. And a good job by Morris just to get that ball up there because Trenton Barraza was coming hard. It's not like a train behind it. You can hear footsteps. Rocket shooting one. Aiden Morris at the line. He'll try to complete the old-fashioned three. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Colin Harris. Kicks it back out to Morris. They'll swing it around. This is Aiden Harris. Thought about going into the basket, but he'll swing it back around. This is Derek Mag. They'll swing it back to Aiden Morris. Pandora taking their time. 2.36 to go. Bulldogs lead the Rockets 42-41 on the Springer scoreboard. Here's Harris, guarded out top by two Grove Bulldogs. He'll swing it back to Derek Mag. Swinging around, this is Aiden Morris. Try to go inside to Jake Mag. Gets it on the low post, he'll kick it back out. And they'll take their time and they'll reset the offense and they'll get the ball with Aiden Harris up top. Good crisp pass is over by Pandora Yoboa. And they're going to have to have those against this tight defense that comes to playing. Dribble drive there by Harris, and he misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Mag. Mag goes up strong, and he misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Colin Harris. They'll go back inside to Aiden Harris. He's going to be fouled, and he knocks it in. Aiden Harris gets the bucket and the foul. My goodness, Aiden Harris. You're seeing why he is one of the premier players in Northwest Ohio. He's got 17 on the night. Well, we talked about second opportunities. You know, has been eluding Pandora Gobo all night long. They got three right there on that one right there. And those long arms of Aiden Harris is what pulled that in, got that basket. That's a great point, Dar. Fantastic observation. They, they <laughs> a lot of length out there for the Rockets right now. As he, no, he misses that one. And they're going to say, they're going to foul. We're going to foul down low. With the Rockets leading 43-42, and that's going to put Columbus Grove. They're going to say Mag pushed off to get the rebound, and that's going to send Tad Koch to the line. So Koch had his struggles in the first half with, with free throws. He only has one point in the game, too. You know, one for two in the free, uh, the free throw line in the first half. So you're seeing why free throws are really important right here. And we're going to come down to shots from the line with 148 to go. Pandora leads 43-42. Now the Rockets know just keep landing best away from the free throw line for one thing. Anybody else you can try to put out there, but they'll, they'll right. let the best kid get it. First one on the way for Coke, and he knocks it in. Nice stroke by Tad Coke, the All-Ohio linebacker. Knocks in the free throw, and he ties it up at 43 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Second one on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Colin Harris. What do you do, partner? Minute 41 to go. Attack the basket. Take a little time off the clock. What's your philosophy? Well, you're definitely going to attack the basket. It's just a matter of when you're going to do it. You don't want to cut it down too close because you're going to give an opportunity. Aiden Harris oh, with a nice pass into Nate Mag, and he knocks in the deuce, and he gives the Rockets the 45-43 lead. We're going to step aside, take a timeout. When we come back. We'll have the conclusion right here on WSN. We're back here at Pandora Gilboa High School with 1.25 to go in the fourth quarter. The Rockets lead the Bulldogs 45-43. And right there, partner, you saw that last play where Aiden Harris, with his ability to get inside that perimeter, and they had to respect his game, and they come off of him, and there Mag is waiting for the ball. Well, that's why you see why Aiden Harris is so important to this Columbus Grove team. You know, it's not just his scoring. Sure. It's that kind of thing. You draw the off the defense onto you, you find the open guy, and that was a beautiful pass on the <laughs> inside. I mean, <laughs> sometimes we overlook that kind of yeah. uh, attribute in a player's skill set, and that was really nice. Yeah, and a great job to finish it off too. You know, the, you sure. know to be able to get that pass and be aware of it that's coming. So that shows well-coached teams and you know that have yeah. practiced together and stuff. But you know, 
like I said, that's that's the key to Aiden Harris. It's not just his scoring, it's what he else he does. So Pandora is gonna put some pressure on Grove. The ball goes out of bounds, and they're gonna say it went off of Pandora. Tad Coke tried to retrieve the ball and it went off the Rockets, and they're gonna say the Grove gets the ball back. Danny Holbrook Dart never ball from Pandora Gilboa High School. 123 to go in this rivalry game between the Rockets and the Bulldogs. And this near capacity crowd is certainly <laughs> getting their money. <laughs> Absolutely. For Landon Best will bring it down for the dogs. He's guarded up top by Aiden Morris. This is Kyle Hopkins with the ball. They'll swing it to Zach Reynolds. This is Barraza. He'll go dribble to the foul line. Ball goes off of the foot. Kyle Hopkins picks it up, misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Coke, and it's watered away by Owen Huffman. But again, another opportunity for the Bulldogs. Well, and, and, you know, Pandora go bully. If you see, we watch him all night long when it comes to Coke. They know that when he gets the ball and, and has to dribble it, they're quick to get on him right away and try to knock it away. There's a steal out top by Morris. He goes down, tries to get the ball back to Colin Harris. Harris is going to swing it back up, and that's where Aiden Harris will take it with 48 seconds to go. Kyle Hopkins is defending him, and they're going to, and Mike Lee is going to get a timeout here. So a good call by Coach Lee. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here on the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Back here at Pandora Gilboa High School where the Rockets lead the Columbus Grove Bulldogs 45-43. And you saw it right there where the Rockets were a little discombobulated there and a good call by Coach Mike Lee. Yeah, good pressure too by Columbus Grove on that one there. You know, you get down to 46 seconds left, you know, you wonder what, what are you going to do? You're going to run it out, try to keep hang on to it? And That's a long time to hang yes, on to Yes, it is. To You're absolutely right. You know, a lot of things can happen in 46 seconds too. So do you try to score as quickly as you can? You know, run about 20 seconds off, try to get into the basket and score then. You know, you know, because there's just too many things in high school basketball that can happen with that much time left. Ball gets in. This is Aiden Harris with the ball out top. He's double teamed by Barraza and Coke. They'll swing it around. Ball comes to Zach Reynolds in the corner. Barraza with a near steal up top. They've got Colin Harris, and they've got... Aiden Harris up top. This is Aiden Harris, and he's going to be fouled. Dribble drive to the foul line. And they're going to say the foul is on 21. Kyle Hopkins, that's his third. And I don't think Hopkins had too much he could do on that one there because Aiden Harris drove from the basket, and they kind of stopped all of a sudden. That'll put Aiden Harris at the line. He is a 72% shooter. He's got 17 on the night. First one on the way. And it's off the mark. So another break for the Bulldogs. Harris misses that one with 25.8 seconds to go. That's so even key. if he, yeah, I was gonna say, even if it's a, if he makes it, it's still a one possession game. But at least it'll be a three pointer they right. get or an old fashioned three. So Harris knocks in the second one. He's got 18 on the night to lead the Rockets. He's got 18 to lead everybody tonight. Here comes Barraza. The Bulldogs down 46-43, 20 seconds to go. And Columbus Grove's going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout here when we come back. We'll have the exciting conclusion right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Pandora Gilboa High School, where with 18 seconds to go, the Rockets lead 46-43. And partner, this has been a game of runs. And, and you know, Pandora had to get over the hump, and they finally got over the hump, and then Grove got back in the lead, and now Pandora, and it's it's been back and forth. Well, and, and the key thing is you look at 46-43, you know, foul. I mean, you know, put them on the line. Yeah, there's two philosophies yeah. there. Absolutely, yeah. right, right. You know, don't let them get that three. And if you look out there and, and see Hopkins out there in the corner, <laughs> right now you got Abe Morris like a blanket. Before they called timeout, he was all over him over there. He said, no way that kid going to beat us over yeah. in that corner. Kyle Hopkins for the Grove Bulldogs has had an outstanding night. He's got 17 to lead the dogs in scoring. So you want to keep your eye on him with them down three right now, 46-43. Is he going to be the guy to get to take that shot to tie this thing up? Do they go to the rim, try to get the two, and then a timeout? We're just going to wait and see here as Kyle Hopkins triggers the ball out in front of the scorer's table. 
Tries to get it into Barraza. Barraza's guarded tightly by Colin Harris, but they do get the ball in the backcourt, so Barraza brings it down. Clocks down to 15. Kyle Hopkins out top. They'll go back to Barraza. Barraza dribble drive on the baseline. Kicks it back out. Zach Reynolds for three from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's going to be corralled by the Rockets. Jake Mag misses the ball. Barraza tries to corral it, and that's going to do it. That's how it ends. The Pandora Gilboa Rockets pull it out and win 46 to 43. When we come back. We'll have our post game, and we'll have a Stolly Hustle Insurance Award winner. We're watching high school basketball on WSN. Welcome back to Pandora Gilboa High School, where the Rockets have pulled off a big win over the Columbus Grove Bulldogs, 46-43. And, and partner, let's uh, check out our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. And who did we go with? Well, we're going to go with Aiden Harris. 18 points on, on the night, but that really wasn't the essence of what his entire game was. He, he did so many other things defensively and assist-wise. And, and the big assist that he had, on that one play, and then he hits the free throw at the end to make it a three-point game. So there's a lot of things he did in his game. And he was really, you know, guarded well tonight by Columbus Grove. They did everything they could to stop him. He just came alive in the second half. And he's a guy that you're not going to keep down all night long, you know. You know, on the flip side, you know, Columbus Grove had so many other guys, too, that just played an outstanding game. But we'll go with Aiden Harris for the Stolly Ward. And we talk a little bit, we talked a lot about Col or Pandora winning this ball game, but you look at Columbus Grove, Dar, they're going to fall to 5-10, and ten, but it doesn't feel like a 5-10 and ten team. No, not at all. And you wonder on this one here, too, because, you know, Columbus Grove came in with a five-game losing streak. Sure. Pandora Gilbo's got... Liberty Benton Friday night, a big, big, Absolutely. huge game for them in the BBC. A chance to knock off the number one team in the BBC and, and have a three-way tie. And a top league. team in the state of Ohio. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And so were they looking a little bit ahead? You, you wouldn't think that with a, you know, a Coach Lee coach team, but these are kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, so, you know, you know, no matter how you tell them, you know, hey, let's worry about these guys first. But, you know, so you wonder about that. But Columbus Grove came out, and, and they really didn't have anything to lose. I mean, they came out and played hard. You know, they you know, threw everything at it, you know. And who would have expected a team that's shooting 28% from the three-point line to come out and shoot as well as they did? Kyle Hopkins just lit it up in that corner. You know, they kind of shut him down a little bit in the second half. He still had two three-pointers in, in each of the first half and the second half. So, you know, for the – for the sophomore coming in, averaging eight points a game, and he just lit it up for him a little bit, you know, having 17 points. But, you know, so, you know, there's a lot of things in this game, you know. And, and if I were Columbus Grove, I'd go back and I'd say, hey, you know, guys, you know, right there. we played a good game. Yeah, they did. You they know, did. We played it hard, you know. Hold your heads up. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You just played a team that was 13 and 3 coming into this one. So, yeah, there's a lot of positives that can be taken from this game. So a good old-fashioned rivalry goes the way of Pandora Gilboa Rockets, 46-43. For Dar and Evergo, I'm Danny Holbrook and our entire WSN crew saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.